parting with my friends. It's hard. But for them, the Colonel's death signaled the end of their journey. Then, the beginning of a new life on the shores of Lake Baikal. For me, the loss became a threshold between the Order and my own life, between duty and my dream to see Dad again. And, like Artyom before, I chose to pursue my wild dream. Along the way, I sometimes felt the trees, ruins, and leaning wire posts vanishing behind were just an endless movie reel projected onto a ragged screen just for me. A lonely late-night viewer in an empty theater. <laughs> Yet, every morning, the sun rising dead ahead brought another change of scenery, making sure that I was, in fact, getting closer to the Pacific. on the way. One day, <laughs> sitting in a recliner on my dad's porch, I might actually be tempted to start a book about this trip or something. One day, but not here. Not now. I see the town that's to become my springboard for a leap across the ocean, and I smell salt in the air. If there really is even a slight chance of me ever getting home, I will find it here. Привет, Владивосток. Lost, you idiot! I think we got all of them! Thanks for your help! Come up here and let's talk! All right!
kill you, fucker. What the hell? You bastard! Take a tie! Hey! Put your gun down! Hey, take it easy. I just helped you. Put it down right now! All right. I'm not looking for trouble. I'm looking for a ship that could take me home. You know any good ones? <laughs> we only have one ship here, and she's a looker. Come, I'll show you. Careful over here. It's a long fall. You don't want to join those poor bastards. They keep chasing me, trying to earn favor with the cat. At least they want to get me alive. Get your spyglass. You can see her perfectly from here. She's right over there. Okay, wow. A submarine? It's freaking huge. Nice ticket home. Speaking of your home, where is it? Your accent seems vaguely familiar. San Diego. Damn, another American. Seriously, talk about coincidence. Another American? Danu! Looks like you really don't know anything. I'll tell you later. Huh? We've got to scram. What the hell is that? The bat wind. Let's get out of here before it gets us. Follow me.
bastards! Come and take it! You're coming. With us! Take him alive! Take this! Fuck off! <laughs> So tough anymore, huh? Fuck off! Uh, fuck! Fuck! Did you hear him swear when we got him? Fuck you all! Bastards! I kill ya! That's American for sure. How do you know it's American when you're not that good at Russian? Well, I did hear American in the movies before the war. He could have seen some too. By the way, he's up. Hey, where are you from, pal? From Moscow. Look, aren't you an American, pal? <laughs> no, I'm a Buryat. <sighs> All right, you got me. I am an American. <laughs> there you have it. No shit. Duh. <laughs> no wonder you gave us so much trouble before we met. Uh, it's just not my day. Huh? <laughs> Looks like it. Well, you might still change your opinion. Hey, guys! Turns out we caught an American! We'd better call Camp Down Report! Wow! Go ahead, Base, delivery here. Patch me through to Kent. I got news for him. All right, standing by. Kill the engine, guys! We're to stand by! Speaking of this not being your day, see what's over I there. I do. It's clouds. <laughs> clouds? This is a storm, pal. Yep. A storm. And storms here are not your regular storms. They can ruin your day like nowhere else. You're lucky we took you in when we did. Delivery. The boss is back on the bridge. Switching over. Got it. Rev up and head to the sub! So, what have you got? Did you deliver the offer to the captain? Nah. He got spooked by some small fries. We nabbed the guy who was with him, though. Turns out the guy's an American. <laughs> Please, boss. He swore like you on a bad day. Oh, I see. Uh, pass the radio to that American, will you? Okay, I do stupid dreaming considering this shit, but just in case, who are you? Lance Corporal Samuel Taylor, U.S. Marine Corps. <laughs> wow. Just... Wow. Yeah. I have trouble believing it myself. Here. Change of plan. He is my guest. Do you get that? Uh, bring him over, quick. Yes, boss. Well, didn't we make a splash? Now tell me, who of us knew he was an American all along, huh? Haha! <laughs> Look, 
It's the boss. Is that him? Yeah, it's me! Well, hello there! Why are you still tied up? Huh? A moment! Happy to see you. Haven't met another American in 23 years. Name's Tom, by the way. Nice to meet you too, Tom. Is the ship yours? Can I book a ticket? Book a ticket? <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, follow me. Let's talk. So, where did you want to go? San Diego, one way. California. <laughs> oh, truly. A heaven on earth. Uh, save for the traffic in LA, of course. That was hell. Look, man, remind me, what was the name of your baseball team? Padres. Right! Oh, our team used to play them often. I'm from Seattle, you know. <sighs> Mariners, if you think any further check is in order. Nothing personal, Lance Corporal. These are tough times. Of course. Trust but verify. Exactly. By the way, Sam, this is Clint, my right-hand man. He's in charge of the Applied Force Department of my business here. Hello, Sam. Ochen Priyatno, Klim. Klim's boys couldn't invite you here at a better time. The doctor flexed the wind somewhat, but still... Just look at that. Yeah. Had I stayed there, I'd be halfway to Kansas by now. Not that I want to go there. <laughs> Where do you want to go? <laughs> Though, wait. Uh, how about we have a good smoke and hear your story first, Sam? Won't say no to a smoke. Even though there isn't much of a story, really. Middle East, Afghanistan, then Moscow. I was on the embassy guard detail. Happened to be in the metro when shit hit the fan. But a lot of people survived there. And then, we just sat in the tunnels for 20 years, thinking we were the last people alive in the world. How come? A perimeter of jammers. The leaders were in the know, but kept it under wraps. For 20 years? But why? Haven't got a clue, really. A friend of mine learned the truth, and with him, the whole squad I was with. We had to run. Across the continent, we had a train. At Lake Baikal, we split. I went further east and kept going until I ended up here. If my dad is still alive, he could still be waiting for my return. He'd be over 70 now. I haven't got much time. I see. So you're looking for someone to take you home. Yeah. People don't just sail across the Pacific nowadays, unlike the old times. But 
I can take you there on this sub. It's rather cool than Canton. You're right, Clem. Could I help somehow, Tom? And how did you get this submarine in the first place? It's a long story. Uh, perhaps just an executive summary? Well, I am in a hurry, but not to such an extent. <laughs> well, in that case, I'll start from afar. Oh, by the way, I almost nailed Tennessee Sour Mash here. No proper aging, of course, but the flavor is basically right. Want you drink with us, Clem? I'll drink my own. You don't really get that fancy stuff, Tom. <laughs> it was just the first failed batch, you know? Uh, but suit yourself, of course. <laughs> to our meeting. To our meeting. To our meeting. Wow. Good show. Oh, yeah. What did I tell you? So, ready to listen now? I'd been doing business here before the war, mainly on the international weapons market. The locals had lots of money and opportunities, but no connections and style whatsoever. That's where I came in. Klim handled the relations with our local partners. Just before the war, our enterprise was starting to gain momentum. But then the bombs fell. You can guess the rest. Yep. Our company had a competitive advantage, though. Warehouses full of weapons. And Klim's boys in charge of guarding those warehouses. <laughs> Then we entered a phase of dynamic growth, and a few years ago learned of a flourishing settlement here in Vladivostok. The place was governed by the ex-captain you met before. Uh, he did do a decent job of it, I must admit, but was not ready for the ongoing war against bandits. Uh, that's what we offered to help with. The captain took the deal and was not disappointed. Uh, Klim found a radical solution to the bandit problem. Yeah, you can still see some hanging. Right. And then we learned that the sub was operational all along. And the captain never even thought of using this immense opportunity. How is he supposed to use it? Obviously, you're not a businessman. Just like him. Naturally, to everyone's benefit. For so many years after the war, mankind has been barely holding on to life because there was no force left to unite the survivors in pursuit of restoring the civilization. But we, we could create such a force. A new state, the true shining city on a hill, to lead the whole world to new accomplishments, to turn the apocalypse into a new beginning. We won't even have to shoot. Just drop the anchor in view of any settlement, open our missile ports, and they will readily give us everything. And accept our power. Oh, do you find this inelegant? It would be just a statement of fact. We are power here. We are the force to lead everyone into the future. I see. So, what do the captains say? Oh, he went ballistic and tried to get rid of us. But when he saw his game was up for good, he ran away. Which means you get to decide where to sail now, right? Certainly. There's just one slight problem. The sub's all right, but its reactors need to be refueled. But only the ex-captain knows where to get the fuel rods and can control the procedure. Regrettably, after our falling out, he wouldn't even talk to us no matter what. Yeah. A lot of things starting to make sense now. Great. Then I can offer you a deal. Sam, I'd like you to be our negotiator. Make that fossil understand. If he helps us get the fuel, we leave the settlement to him. We'll find a better base in no time anyway. Of course, he's also welcome to have all crew members who won't follow me. And once we get the fuel, San Diego will be our first destination. Deal? Deal. Sam. You'll need some protection as our burly man. I'll send my best guys. Thanks, Clem. But I prefer working alone. <laughs> oh, that's some true grit right there. Hey, leave Sam be, Clem. He can handle it. <laughs> Whatever you say, boss. So, we have a deal. 
Still, if you are going to represent us in negotiations, we'd better equip you to our standard. Uh, Clem, please set Sam's radio to pick up our frequencies. Sure. Here. Now for the important part, the map of the area. It's as exact as it can be, all things considered. Plus, it shows all the captain's hideouts we know of. You should check those first. Done. Spasibo, Klim. Well, radio's taken care of. As for the rest of your gear, drop by the shooting range. You'll be issued everything. Have some rest first, though. You had a long day. Thank you, but I'd rather go now. I prefer to strike iron while it's hot. <laughs> well, <laughs> your choice. Thanks, Tom. Guess I'll be going now. The storm's already over, after all. Good luck. We'll of keep course. in touch. Of course. Just leave Just leave Bye.